along, even though they, they definitely beat us. Whatever, Jason. No, uh, uh, Massimo, you're going to make a farinata, so please explain. What is that? A farinata. A farinata, farinata is a chickpea flour pancake. Ooh, Normally good. prepared in, in, from this, in the zone of Italy that is from Nice, which is not Italy, it's France now, right. but um, you know we'll we'll skip over that all the way down to <laughs> all the way down to Tuscany. <laughs> well, in geography, you know what I mean. Right, right, right. But you Tough go to one. Nice or you go to Genoa, you go to Tuscany, you will find that uh, you'll see that on uh, in, with different names, by the way. But at the end of the day, is a chickpea pancake, and chickpea okay. flour is available in. Uh, in the Italian supermarket or any other supermarket, I believe that the, the, everyone, just about everyone carries this right now. Right, okay. Or you can find any other chickpea flour. Yeah. It's perfectly yeah. fine. I mean, it's heavily used everywhere in Southeast Asia and, uh, and in Italy in the Mediterranean basin, so it's fantastic. Lovely. Now, it comes in a beautiful little powder form. You can use it for many things, even frying. Crusting frying, chicken crusting yes. chickens, anything. Yeah. So beautiful like that and super simple and super healthy. Look, we're just going to add water. We're gonna stir. Actually, you do that. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, work, doing a little bit of water. So yeah. A little bit of salt. Uh, enough, because otherwise it's uh, little gonna little taste a little mealy. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, and then oh, oh, oh. a touch of olive oil. Now, the important thing is to leave that particular mixture to soak for at least eight hours. So you prepare it in the morning and you let it, cover it up. You can leave it outside on the counter or you can do it the day before in a refrigerator, not a problem. Yeah. Um, once that is rested, and there is only chippy water, flour, and, uh, and olive oil in here, then you take a frying pan, a non-stick frying pan. Classically, it would be a copper pan lined, and uh, you, know, you put it on, uh, on the stove just like that. You add a little bit of oil, um, and, uh, and then you will bake it. Okay. But because we are not using, yeah, a little high heat so that it just kind of fries a little bit. Nice. But you make like a crepe. Nice. Just like that. And this is a runaway success on my menu, actually. We are selling a lot of it. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is, if you why. allow me, uh, we're going to put a little bit of rosemary on top, just like that. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit yeah. of rosemary. And we're going to throw a little bit of garlic. It's a savory just, pancake. Yeah, it, oh, it's a, absolutely a savory pancake. You can dress it up any way you like. Mm -hmm. Okay, with fish, with, uh, well, with fish, with salad, with beans, with uh, and, and name it. If you wouldn't mind, uh, we're gonna put tomatoes on top. And this one here are semi-dried tomatoes that we make at the restaurant. Basically, they are tomato cut in half with a little bit of salt and sugar, a little touch of uh, thyme and garlic. Mm -hmm. And um, they are oven dried in the oven at 220 for, uh, I don't know, about six, seven hours. And they stay nice and moist and delicious. For now, six, let me. Seven hours? Yeah. That's how long? Yeah. Very, yeah. Low very, low, very low, low temperature. Low heat. Uh, sorry, wow. uh, 200, uh, maybe 170 if you yeah. can uh, reach that. Uh, this should be a non stick frying pan. Mm. But uh, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, that one over there was perfect. It was floating on the frying pan. No, it's going to. Oh, yeah, see, there, there you go. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect. It's a non stick see, frying pan. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to add a little bit more oil because we wanted to flow. And I never used this frying pan before, <laughs> although as no, beautiful as it is, this is where it gets exciting. This is where it gets splashy. Oh, because oh is this what's? Are you you're gonna flip it? To, yes, you're supposed to put it in the oven and bake Protect it, right? The host. <laughs> exactly. You do that. Ready? Oh, oh, oh nice. beautiful, beautiful. He's a nice and brown. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more oil, and this is practically done. I mean, what I have here is the one that I made earlier. I have my tomato cut in mm -hmm. little chunks. What I want to do is I want to fry it slowly, but uh, um, with a little bit of oil so that it creates a little bit of the crackle and the, and the bubbles, yeah. okay, it becomes super crispy. Now, I like to eat it when it just comes out of the pan and it, that's how it should be eaten. You cannot make it the day before or anything, but you can just put it there. Yeah. But like you said, the great thing is yep. you make the dough before and all you oh, do is absolutely. fry it up and right. away you go, right? This part of now, it doesn't take very long what we do is we're going to put our tomatoes nice. on. Thank you very much. Super, super simple. You can actually add beans if you like. You can add prosciutto. You can add uh, uh, bacon. cured beef, bacon, <laughs> anything <laughs> you like. How come I have an extra tomato here? <laughs> what happened? Original. I ate one. I couldn't resist. And then we put our arugula in the middle. And then salmon. we're going to go nuts uh, oh, with the cheese. Yeah, that'd be great with smoked salmon on there. Yeah. yeah. Pecorino, smoked salmon. Exactly. 
looking that's good. A poached egg. Yeah. And this so is you got your, I mean, you're basically getting beautiful. a nice high protein pancake as well. Oh, it's a chickpea absolutely. pancake, right? It Looks cannot be any beautiful. better than that. Delicious. Cityline.ca for that amazing mm. recipe.